Hey guys, John Luxy here, back with our blind playthrough of Deus Ex. Are you gonna chew on that? Jack's right here too. He's adorable, but he's also a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right. All right, so last time we went and, uh... Can I click? Yes, I can. Ooh. Never get used to that mouse. Right. Uh, we basically took a bunch of damage. We went through the sewers a few times. We got some extra skill points. Um, let's load the game. We are basically one hit away from death. Right, let's take a look. Don't don't go up there. Don't go up there, Jack. Just stay right here. Stay right there. You can lay down in my lap. There you go. Lay down. Health. Right, so we're down to 11 medkits from our fairly standard max of 15, which is, I mean, that's fine. One, one hit away. I'm hoping to find a health robot, but I doubt we're going to find one anytime soon. Now we're... Let's see, take the helicopter to Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make contact with the Illuminati. So, the question is... There's a couple questions first. Um, I know there's guys walking around. I don't know where they are at the moment. And if I get shot or seen or anything, I'm toast. So let's not get seen. I think that's where the catacombs are. And, uh, tech goggles. Okay, well... Well. Oh. Uh, Please give your ID. Uh, I gotta call that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, crap. I'm toast, aren't I? Well, yeah. Well. That didn't go as well as I expected. Alright, so there's some dude over there. I don't know where he is, though. There's a guy behind that. There he is. Um, I don't, I don't actually know where I want to go. I need to go there. That's where I need to go. And these guys, I think, will take a couple hits from the sword. Like, I can't just walk up behind him and chop him. I just don't know, like, what is this building? I assume I could probably shoot it with a rocket launcher. Oh, so he doesn't just walk back and forth. He walks around. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a dude right there. That's no good. Wait, was that that same guy? Was that this guy from over here? No, there's three guys. Well, this could be a little trickier than I thought. I suppose what I could do is... Hmm. Hmm, yes. I could pull out the rocket launcher and blast the door. Oh, that guy's walking behind the building. And I assume he's gonna walk back this way now. 20 lockpicks, let's maybe do this the little bit stealthier approach. I didn't know what I was stuck on right there. So there's one guy that basically goes around this building. This guy walks around there and then the other guy presumably walks around that building. 14. Two picks. I would like to blow it open, but... Hang on. Can I... I could. Hmm. 
the stealthy approach. It's okay, nobody heard that. Oh, I got sh I got flamethrowered? Oh, there's, okay, he, yeah. I mean, well, let's run around. What's in here? Stuff. This is an actual, does this go down into the catacombs or is this like, oh, I'm sp whoop, whoop. So this is like a serious area. Okay. Do not fall. Do not fall and then die. All right, so that, I mean, that's like a, and the metro, right? Should I try going there? Where is this dude? There he is. Well, maybe we can get down there without him noticing. Oh, what did I... I don't know what I got stuck on, but it's probably alright. Okay, that's fair, but we have a turret. Who is this? Uh huh. Yeesh. Hmm. So why would I come down here? Where's the camera that goes with that turret? I hear the camera. It sounds like it's coming from over there. Hmm. More flares. All right, I actually expected more people down here, you know, more resistance. I don't I don't see it, though. Yep, I hear the big robot. Ah, there it is. Watching the ATMs. Eh, that figures. Um, I don't think it's actually supposed to be, well, it might be text, but it's really slim. All right, so why? I mean, there's one of those, so clearly there has to be actual troops. Oh, it's a little mech. Might be worth uh, taking it out with a... Okay, so F11 and F5. Uh-oh. That panel just lit up. Someone's there. I can hear you. No, you can't. You can't hear anything. Oh crap, I, I still have my power recirculator on. Nope, just nerve, I guess. 
Yep. He has a flamethrower. It... Okay, that's... a heck of a distance for him to go... That'll be alright. Okay. We'll hit these crates. Take the ammo that we... I don't know how much of this we'll need. Hmm, yeah. Are we gonna do this again? Probably. Right, yeah, that, you know, that's important. Now, where is it gonna put it? In the torso, that's good. That's what I need, can I eat the rats? I mean, no, no you can't, but. And I assume we're gonna have to come down here. Oh, I can. Yeah, that's uh, I could, I could do that. I don't, I don't think I want to. That would take too long. We got some soy. I keep thinking about that. It's kind of funny. Just the whole... Like it's an insult these days. Which, I mean, it's understandable. And maybe actually justifiable, right? Because you could you could actually make the argument that a lot of our, our problems with society today is because of the, the lack of masculinity. You know, the whole... You know, the... Simp culture, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how that happened. Well, I, I do actually, but it it doesn't really help anything. Um. Eat the rat. Wait, what was this? Oh, right, right, right. More. Yeah, we'll take another couple sips. Yay. Does it go to the torso as well? Yes. Maybe it goes to the torso first. No, but the whole soy thing, not about society necessarily, although that, um, you know, has its own issues, is it's really interesting is that it, from my understanding, soy, like eating lots of it will actually change the, uh, you know, your hormones, right? So it'll make you, it'll, you know, cause your body to produce estrogen, which can be fine because believe it or not, men also have estrogen in their blood. So yeah, still, I don't know why, why come down here. Hmm, they're, they're, okay, there's those guys. I suppose I could just break the glass, but Like, what's the point of coming down here? Those guys are guarding a door. Getting too old for this. I didn't ask for this. Um, but... Let's, uh... Yeah, why not? We'll save. We'll save. Um... Metro Blockade. <clears throat> Should I take them out and see what's in this in this little area? Or can I just kind of walk this way and It just it doesn't seem to be anything special. I think I'm going to huck a gas grenade at him. I mean, I could use a rocket launcher, but I think I'm going to do the gas grenade and then switch to maybe the darts. And... No, because I don't think the darts will kill them. 
And the gas grenade doesn't really do much on their own, except it'll let me deal with them. You know, in a in a bit, right? So checking it out. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, well, I don't think he got me though. I received napalm. What happened to the other dude? Oh, right, okay. Let's wait for that to fade, and he's pulling out a grenade or something. Gotta wait for the clouds to disperse. Right on. Okay. No, but actually estrogen, increased estrogen in the blood will actually increase your risk of a heart attack. That's why it's important. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting, actually. They found these... Um, they found these nurses that were taking it. And statistically speaking, all their chances of heart attack was about 30% lower than the average. So they're basically like, well... Let's just start prescribing estrogen to everybody. This was, a, I don't remember exactly when this was. It was a while ago. Oh, hello. Right, these are not ATMs. But what ended up happening is they prescribed all this estrogen and then they actually, you know, people started having heart attacks and they're like, what's going on? Did a double blind study. Turns out estrogen itself raises your risk of heart attack by about 40%, if I'm remembering correctly. So then they're like, well, why do these nurses that were taking it, females, um, why was their risk of heart attack lower? Is it because they're women and women are supposed to have estrogen in their blood? And the answer is no, actually. It's because of they were taking a bunch of different stuff. They were trying all these different things, you know, supplements, exercise, other stuff. Um, and so overall, they're, they had a decreased risk of heart attack, but just the estrogen itself raises it so it's it's kind of fascinating um testosterone like oh there goes jack if you're a man and you get some of that testosterone replacement therapy same thing uh but you can get it naturally by working out so and i don't believe that has the same effect but i don't know i don't know that might be interesting to look into actually all right interpol wanted jc denton Ah, Kitty's uh, getting the last few hours of sun. Uh, Interpol is currently seeking the whereabouts of known terrorist JC, JC Denton. Denton is wanted for a number of international crimes, including theft, murder, money laundering, drug trafficking, and destruction of property. I think all of those are true, except for drug trafficking. Money laundering, technically not. It's more like theft of an ATM. Uh, Denton was last believed to have been sighted in New York, but recent information indicates he may be currently operating in Paris. Denton is approximately six feet tall with silver facial tattoos and solid blue eyes, the result of a rare genetic condition that he often conceals with a pair of sunglasses. Denton is extremely dangerous and should not be approached. Instead, if you believe you have seen him, contact your nearest police or security representative. There's currently a reward of 10,000 credits for information that leads to his capture or arrest. Interpol is also attempting to locate Alex Jacobson and Jamie Reyes, or Jaime Reyes, for questioning in a number of related incidents. No descriptions are available at this time, but will be posted as they become available. Read me. Icarus found you from Daedalus. Run while you can. Well, right, because Daedalus is... Daedalus is probably toast or severely limited now because Icarus is active. At least that's what I assume. I assume that's the reason Daedalus was getting weird was because Icarus was coming online and Icarus is probably way stronger than an accidentally born AI, right? Curfew hours extended. Due to a rise in criminal activity in the last week, curfew hours are now extended from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh. 
Individuals found in violation of curfew may be punished with a fine of up to 5,000 credits or one year in jail. Patrolling bots are authorized to detain suspicious individual as necessary and residents are urged to respect instructions from a bot the same as they would a police representative. The catacombs and all surrounding tunnels continue to remain off limits to residents. Any individual found in the catacombs will be presumed to be engaged in felonious activities until proven otherwise. Uh, police have been sanctioned to respond to such activities with lethal force if required. Can I trank those commandos? Let's see. File buffer overload. Redirect truth net. Lies truth. Probably from silhouette. Citizens of Paris, did you even turn in your sleep as your freedom was seized from you? Did you hear them when they told you it was done in your name? Or did you simply wake from your dream and never question the reality of your slavery? That's most people, I think. Most people don't care until they're directly affected and then it's too late. The city of lights has been extinguished by shadows. Our government has been taken from us. We live in fear of jackbooted troops and hulking, clanking tools of oppression, afraid to travel from one arrondissement to another. Where's the city of our dreams? I don't know how to pronounce that. The Pigai has become the grave of for our buried joy. The Champs Elysees rings of nothing but the dirge of our forgotten hopes. We let this happen. We all let this happen, but it is not too late. We are free in our hearts and our minds, and it is there that true rebellion must begin. Look to those who would unify us only to enslave us. Look to those who would make us rich but rob our souls. Look to those who would protect our safety by stealing our liberty. Yep. Question everything. Believe nothing. Take action in the places they cannot see and they can never conquer us. Silhouette, master, minister of true lies. And I don't know. I don't know French. Tendis, Louise, Dormen, non gagenons. Or something. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so both are public access. I think they both probably say the same thing. Yes, they do. All right. So let's go through here now. Hmm. And why? Yeah, boy. My good friend, Medbot. Oh, baby. Totally worth coming down here. Totally worth killing those mofos. Your lives are worth nothing compared to that of a, you know, medical robot. All right, another multi-tool. Oh, was this in the dark little thing? I wondered about that. I was like, man, you can't see anything in this little passageway except that. Well, let's check this. Shut this. Page Industries Incorporated. Yeah, and as far as the soy thing, uh, you know, um, church status enemies, that's fine. And that's off. Um, you know, if I, if I make any comments about, tra about, you know, transgender people or whatever, it's like, I don't, <sighs> I have no beef with them, but they're, you know, I've said this before, they're free to do what they want, but so are me and other people. Right? So it's like, yes, they can do what we want, but, but people can still be uncomfortable, and it's okay for them to. And people can still call them nasty things, and other people nasty things, and that's okay. That's freedom. You know? Freedom is not always nice and and talk about you know the whole thing about you know safety versus liberty and all that stuff it's like freedom and safety are often in opposition to each other all right let's uh talk to you metro blockade we'll save over that i feel better let's sure over here. Arms dealer. Yeah. I have something of interest. Rockets, huh? Four for 5250. Three lambs for 6750. A recoil suppressor weapon modification. 1200. Good deal, eh? Those prices sound pretty steep. They do. The best I can do with the troops everywhere. They took over the mall where I meet my supplier. 
You mean the military guys in the metro station? I took care of them. Yeah? They're dead. Now what about giving me a deal on some hardware? Dead, eh? That could mean a lot of money for me, and a discount for you. I will give you prices that are one-third of what I said before. No better deal anywhere. Um... Yeah, I don't... I'll pass for now. I don't actually need a lot of stuff. I'll pass for now. But if I do need more rockets, I will definitely go to him. All right. Now that I have access to a medical bot, is it worth fighting those guys? I'm thinking maybe yes. That way I can operate a little bit more out in the open. Or maybe tase them? What happens if I tase this guy? Can I tase him? Okay. Well. Wow, that's uh. Right. Right. Okay, so tasing is not a great option. I wonder if you can actually put them down. Like tranquilize. I mean. No, they have shields. Well. And rockets. Okay. And oh, they. Let's do a scan. Maybe you can tranquilize them. No, you can't. Hmm. Okay, so these guys are dangerous. Very dangerous. They have shields. Could you use an EMP grenade on them or something? Uh, let's see, F9. No, 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 F3. For bullets and stuff. Okay, that works. That actually worked really well. Catacombs entry key. Uh. Well, whoa, rockets. Where's number three? There you are. I'm just gonna run for this dude. Okay, that works. You don't find anything. Screw you. What about... <laughs> I... Alright. Pigeons, you're now free. How much damage did I take? Hopefully not much. I didn't take any. That's awesome. Well, let's... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to save there. Catacombs key. My door opener. What about... See, now that they're dead, I'm gonna have to run around, right? Right, there's still that big boy. Wait, so this is not a door? It's the big one that's a door? Okay. Graves or something? Is one of these like a hole? You think you can bust through here? I would almost be willing to bet you could break, uh, you know, we could try it. Right? 
the back way. That way you don't have to go through the front. Takes four picks, right? Takes four picks to get in. You can kill presumably that one guard, but maybe all of them. Well, no, because normally you get copies of the key if there's multiples. So you can go through the back and hack at it with the sword or, or you know. All right, so I'm gonna resupply my power here. Hopefully those are all still dead. All right, rat. Go with God. <laughs> See, this is good. This is good. Uh, recharge, yes. Yeah, I mean, there's a med kit in there, but I'm not going for it. Take way too much damage. Let's try it. Uh, where where are we going? Yeesh. Yep, I'm gonna die. Uh, right, yep. There you go. I don't think you have enough time to get that and run back. Maybe if you have the anti-radiation uh, augmentation. But not normally, not unless you're using medkits, in which case it's kind of pointless. Yeah, I mean, also, if I say anything that that offends anything, anybody, or, or anything like that, you know, you can say something in the comments. I will not... I've considered the whole apology thing, and I'm, I'm fairly certain that I will not apologize. Um, but you can change my mind. If I'm being an asshole, you can bring up stuff. You know, be like, hey, I think you're wrong about that. But the people, there's, I think there's just too much of the whole, you owe me an apology for offending so-and-so. And it's like, so you want me to apologize for, well, I was gonna say using free speech, but being an asshole does not, you know, I am an asshole a lot of the time. So, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. That's a, that's what... <sighs> Let's just run around a little bit and hopefully not... Why are you locked? Okay, well, do I have a... New... So that's right here. Presumably I could just... Oh, well, okay. Is there... Oh, there's the security. Is there a camera in here? What do I hear? Sounds like a generator or something. But yeah, there's there's too many people that um warehouse security. Warehouse blast door. Unlocked camera status off. Oh wait, yes! We are in the warehouse. We must be. But I don't see anybody that the turret is attacking, so we'll just turn it off. And... Off, closed, uh, log out quickly. Unlocked it though, so it should be alright. What is this? Candy bar, book, uh, no, no. Anything under the desk? Oop, sorry, I didn't mean to whack the microphone. No, but it's the whole... It's because, like, people care, right? And so when someone, when you say something and someone's like, I'm offended, you're like, oh, well, I'm sorry, that's, 
that was rude of me because people are nice ish you know petals of twilight by charles francois guillermo and it is told that he made his way through their streets at night, crawling through their many windows and crouching in their gardens, moving through the sewers beneath their cobbled roads and slipping over their railings, watched by their cats and the roosting pigeons of their city, yet wary of their slumbering dogs he went. They would not see him, nor wake as he drew near, but would only shudder, softly calling out the names of their gods in sleep. Restless, they tossed as he passed under the windows like an errant lover fleeing dawn, and by morning light, he was gone away from that place and moved on to another world. Is that death? Or a thief? Or either? Locked. One pick. One pick to get a key. Um. But yeah, so. Oh, more, more soy. Another fire extinguisher, or... Or I could just use explosives. Oh, yeah, let's equip it. But yeah, so, you know. But the, the problem is you have all the... Destroy the water cooler. Warehouse key code. Okay. Well, credit shit. Multi-tool. Daily activity report with the new government regulations has become mo almost impossible to get any work done after sundown. The sword mew bots will supposedly only attack known terrorists, but I do not trust them and neither does anyone else. That's smart. They all head home before dark. I stay and try to get a little work done so the American MIS woman... Gave me a passcode for the security system, but it is difficult to make any progress when no one is around to give me the information I need. Right, so the problem is you have, uh, you know, the victim society people, and, uh, you know, they just, they want to be victims or they want you to apologize and all that shit. And so, uh, so they've kind of ruined it because now they're like you said something about black people and even though I'm not black I demand you apologize to me for offending me it's like why no I'm not saying I said anything about black people I'm using it, at, it as an example of what these people do you said something that offends me on the behalf of other people so you should apologize to me it's like you're not owed an apology like it, it's this weird power trip thing and so that's why I'm like I will probably not apologize if I piss somebody off but like I said we can talk about it which you know I'm um, I'm open to discussion I think and it's in a weird way I think people don't understand how powerful that is because if I'm really an asshole or if I really have uh, some sort of flawed uh, opinion or viewpoint or whatever you know those people that really care about the issue can change my mind the people that want the apologies they, that want to be offended they don't care they don't care about the issues they just want the apology you know they want people to suffer and stuff and that's that's part of the reason that I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's part of the reason society is falling apart but it's it's definitely very uh, you know it divides people because most people don't most people aren't on the internet a lot if you're watching this video you're probably aware of this stuff but the average person is not the average person watches the news and just believes whatever they they're told right and then they're like I don't understand why everything's you know why people are so mad and it's like it's it's just because there's so much so much crap you know and so maybe we just should not apologize going forward you know or 
not give unearned apologies, I should say. You know, if you actually hurt someone, you can apologize to the person that you hurt, but apologize for words? No. Now we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. You know, because that's a lot of talk. It's not quite action. So, yeah. Anyway, Francois, the hacking attempt has been an unqualified success. I've transferred all the funds that I managed to siphon from Metropolitan before the ice came down into a dummy account. Number of blah, password dull bill. Let the other members of the cell know that these funds can be used for any projects the Mayhem Committee may deem appropriate. The Mayhem Committee. I wonder if that's a reference to Project Mayhem from Fight Club. Who's this? Icarus. Everything, huh? Is that God you're talking about or just a bunch of New Age crap? Interesting. It was it was ringing, so I'm like, you know what? Let me try clicking on the telephone. But I'm I already answered the phone. I you know I was because I was wondering where the name Deus Ex came from, right? Because it's like Deus Ex Machina. God is in the machine. And so now it's starting to make more sense, right? Because it's about AI. My friend. I am fully charged up. I don't need your robotic implement to touch me anywhere. All right, another one of you. Excellent. A nano key for the office, which I guess I got into by breaking the window. And then, uh, what is that? Metal crate. I like how you can use this for light. Like, that's cool. Rocket launcher if you need it. And... EMP grenade. Okay, we'll take it. Because I imagine we'll have to deal with that big boy. Oh. Why is there a switch right there, though? Is it possible to get in here from... somewhere else? Maybe, but I don't see any other doors, but I suppose it's possible. Or in case somehow you, there's a glitch and the door is shut on you. Um, kind of like that, like the alarm should have loaded, but it, it didn't, it somehow didn't load all the way. I don't know, we've had, we've had half the world not load. And so I walked outside the bounds, right? Wait a second. This catacomb door. This is that same building, right? Cool. Don't fall. Critical location bonus. Ooh, hey, that could have been... That could have been a trap. Chad, I've been down in the tunnels trying to work out where all the government people Wojciech was talking about have set up shop. We're definitely going to have to be careful, though I don't think they've noticed us yet. Strange. Lots of Gendarmes. Foreigners? But also some Americans. Overheard several of them talking as if they worked for MJ-12, but I got no idea who that might be. I like how they have wine everywhere. It's, it's really interesting that some of these other societies... Like, wine and stuff is not taboo. And so... Hey, rats! And so as a result, the, you know, alcoholism, I think, is down and, um, you know, drunk driving incidents, I 
believe her. Well, I have no idea. You'd expect them to be higher, but I believe they're lower from what I understand. It's weird. It's like making stuff forbidden, you know, increases. Like, it has the opposite effect. <coughs> I don't know. Kind of like the whole, you know, hate speech thing that people are trying to do. Which is the dumbest thing, because people... It makes you... Making a word forbidden gives that word power. It just makes it harder... You know, it... It weakens you. You know, the victim culture weakens people. Les Catacombs de Paris. And you can't have catacombs without random 40s sitting around. What is that? A skull, probably, although I can't tell. There's gotta be people down here. Human skull. Yep, so we got some Graffiti, random rats. The reports I'm finding indicate a siege on the catacombs. MJ-12 must be trying to drive Silhouette from their hideout. Fair enough. I hear electricity, and there's a gas grenade on the wall. Okay. We're probably going to want to run and grab that, like, right away. Ooh, yeah. That could have been bad. I thought I was going to miss it for a second. So I suppose that's the proper way to go. MJ Troop. MJ-12 Troop hums. Uh, well. Is that a pit? What is this? It is a pit, but it's... Oh, it's a ladder. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, let's use a flare. Because I have a bunch. And they don't get enough use. Right on. Oh, hello. And you can go that way too. Napalm. Right, that's gotta be for um, the flamethrower. Right. So this is the question, do I go the back way, presumably, or do I go the front way? Mm. I mean, I don't see anything this, like, troops hanging out or anything, but... By the way, if, if you guys like me talking about political shit, let me know. If you don't like me talking about political shit, also let me know. Um, I may not... I may not do what you want, but I will listen. You know what I mean? Like, it's something that I've, I've thought about for a while. Like, should... Should I give my thoughts about stuff like that? Should I not? Um, you know, it... It could go either way, I feel. Guy in a coat, I'm checking it out. Nope, 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 nope. It's cool. Could have sworn, is what he said. He doesn't want to... He hasn't said, like, anything about... I was just seeing things, or... Ah, but he left. Huh. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's I could have sworn was his way of saying. What is that? Is that a dude? Is that... A couple dudes? Something creeps me out about Hella. I don't 
don't know. She's from high command. They're all like that. I think she really gets off being down here. Have you seen the little nest she set up in the room with the pillars? The command post? She does seem to be in her element. Curling up in her nest like a harpy? Man, I'll be glad to get out of here. Me too. I don't like tunnels. Always sounds like someone's sneaking up on you. Okay, just don't move, guys. Um, well... I, I guess I don't need whatever's in that crate, the ammo. Um, probably just leave these guys be. Right, that little passage off to the side. Um, presumably that goes back to where that crate was that I broke earlier. So I may as well just leave these guys alone. Plus, I liked their conversation, and I didn't want to anything bad to happen to them. But is that really... So you go down and then you go over and you, I guess you come out there. Yeah, that makes sense. So you basically do have to go this way. That's too bad. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I've heard both ways. Um, I've heard some people... Actually, to be fair, I mean, there's, there's whole channels dedicated to political stuff, right? Um... And then on the other hand, a lot of the entertainment stuff... Oh, it just... You're entering one of the larger tombs. Almost six million exhumed bodies were moved to the catacombs oh. as a health measure during the 1700s. Hmm. But there's whole... I, I took damage from the fire. That makes sense. Uh, but no, there's whole channels de dedicated to uh, political stuff. And then I've heard a lot of people that do entertainment channels, like like this one, I suppose. Uh, and they're like, you know, I don't bring up politics and stuff because I want people to forget about all that stuff and have a good time. Uh, for me... I think of it more as... Okay, there could be other guards over this way, though. I gotta be careful. Random trash. Man, he's... I've got a this one's some kind of mech. Well. Well, he shot me. Wow, that hurt. That hurt a lot, right? What, he shoot me three times? Or, or maybe the right arm was from the fire. Shot me in the head and the torso? That's not cool. You dick. Sawed off shotgun, combat knife, soy food. Well. I never turn. <laughs> I was gonna say I never turned down the opportunity for soy food. I think it's it's like, hey, if you're gonna eat soy, kill yourself. No, that's not. That's a terrible joke. I've eaten soy before. Like I said, the the sausages or whatever they were they were good, better than they have any right to be. But just don't eat them all the time because they throw your your hormones out of whack. For example, the stuff that I said about the, you know, you say anything about about any subject and people will get offended, or claim claim to be offended. Maybe not actually be offended. Like I said, they probably just want the the apology. Um, oh, it's going to the head. Well, that's cool. Whoa, baby. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't, uh, 
So is there a reason to come this way? All right, let's head back to the beginning of this little area, so to speak, because that guy's walking around over there. Oh, I see. I imagine you can get through this area without getting spotted. You just follow behind and then slip into the the things. Yeah, we'll drink the 40 as well, why not? And the wine. Drink all the wine and the 40s, all of it. Drink it all. I know, it's like the worst. It's my worst habit, I think. But here's the thing, is that over time, it helps like each little piece of candy bar, each little packet of soy food or whatever. You're talking, I mean, it heals you. It's almost, you know, it's probably worth a med kit in itself. Your back just got punched twice. <laughs> Got shot twice. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, yeah, if you have any comments about what I say, anything during the episode, um, let me know. You know, I do, I do read all the comments when YouTube gets them to me. I don't know what's going on with all the spam comments, though, lately. Like the weird music channels like, hey, you want to be YouTube friends or whatever. And then it's like the same account gets continually recycled because they don't go away. Their name just changes and stuff. So I don't know if they're being sold or if it's like the whole, you know, where you can purchase clicks or whatever. I, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, my channel would be bigger if I was actually purchasing that stuff, but what I don't understand is why they're unless it's a form of advertising like hey look at my channel look at all this stuff that we have like a actually that's what it is PewDiePie said something about that right like he would go to other people's channels and be like hey check out my channel or whatever now you get banned for that shit but you know whatever it's uh you know it is what it is uh, but yeah, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's actually this coconut water I drank. It's, uh, it was all right. It was like coconut water with lime and pineapple and cayenne pepper. It was interesting. It was a tiny little bottle for like three fifty. Not worth it. I was like, this better be some good water. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Not, uh, not worth the price, but worth trying once, you know, so... That's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, wow, I can't talk now. Hopefully, your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully, better. Ooh, we're gonna make it. <laughs> Hopefully, better, of course. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.